about a year ago, maybe two, there was a video going around. A woman didn't want transgender ideologies being taught to kids. Didn't want kids being taught they were a different gender just because they believe they were. So she went to the school board meeting dressed as a cat and made the argument if I if I claim to be a cat will people treat me like a cat and it's sort of a nonsensical argument some people would say except that um, that was two years ago now it's a lot less nonsensical my brother went to visit his daughter and the, her family and he told me that at her her daughter's school, his granddaughter, um, this is a, she's about five years old, I forget her exact age, this is preschool or kindergarten. They have three bathrooms, or they've got the boys' bathroom, the girls' bathroom, and they have a room with a box of kitty litter in it, because one of the students identifies as a kitten. So yeah, this, this, this ridiculous um, thing that the uh, woman was going through is now a real thing. Now, this is my brother telling me this story. It is entirely possible he's pulling my leg. Um, so I went online, tried to look up, because I, I know the city that, she, that uh, my niece lives in. So I looked that up and tried to find out about, you know, schools allowing a child to identify as a cat couldn't find anything which you know it's not necessarily going to be in the papers but uh it sounds like the sort of thing that might but i did find in australia there is a not a five-year-old girl but a 13 year old girl who identifies as a dog another student actually got in trouble for not acknowledging that she was a dog so this is, this is a lot worse than, I mean, the five-year-old kid I can sort of understood because, you know, kids have, little kids have good imaginations. Um, indulging their belief that they're a kitten isn't the greatest idea in my mind, but um, the, the idea that they want to be considered a kitten I can understand. The 13-year-old girl wanting to be a dog insisting that all our classmates call her a dog. A classmate gets in trouble for not acknowledging her dogness, if you want to call it that. That I don't get. I mean, th this girl is early teenager. She's getting ready to, you know, in America, she'd be going to high school. You know, she'd be in junior high getting ready to go to high school. Now, my question on this is, are either of these girls certified as helper dogs or emotional support animals because if they aren't then they can't go to a restaurant if, if you want to be treated like an animal we've got to treat you like an animal 100 percent you can't go into a restaurant unless you are certified as a helper animal of some sort can't go to the store can't ride public transportation if the girl from Australia takes a vacation to another country, she's got to go through the Australian quarantine before she comes back. Because pets are expected to go through quarantine, aren't they? She, she, she is not identifying as a human. She wants to be treated as an animal. She should be treated as an animal full-fledged. Now there was a guy, I saw another article a few years back, um... Japanese guy wants to identify as a dog. So he had, he spent a lot of money. I forget how much he spent, but it was a huge amount of money to get a realistic dog suit. I mean, not your common furry that you see you know, people running around in, but this is an actual, looks pretty much like a dog. Um, the, the article said it was realistic, quote unquote. The picture they showed was a little blurry, so it was hard to tell how realistic it was. But... You know, I, I would say you know, it's closer to a dog than some costumes you would see. Um, 
I believe it was a collie. Now, he openly admitted in an interview that you know, this was sort of hazardous to his social life because um, no woman wants to date a guy who wants to run around as a dog all day. You know, even his friends, you know, the idea of, hey, let's go hang out with Bob, or what are we going to do? Well, we're going to throw the frisbee for him in the park. His friends don't really want to do that. So I, I will credit him at least, you know, he, he spent the money on the suit. He doesn't force people to treat him like a dog. It's, you know, this is what he wants. He wants to go to work, go home, dress as a dog, do his thing, whatever. He doesn't complain that no one else wants to identify acknowledge his dogness. You know, people don't have to be his friend because he identifies as a dog or wants to be treated as a dog. So I'll give him that much credit. He's not trying to force other people to call him a dog when he clearly isn't. Even with the suit, like I said, this, the, the picture of the suit was a little blurry, but yeah, you can tell it's a guy in a dog suit and not a real dog, even though it was, wasn't a bad looking dog suit, but Still not a dog, you could tell. <clears throat> and so this is what we're going into now. Um, like I said, it didn't take long. You know, there, there's the whole slippery slope argument nobody wants to face. Um, but in this case, a couple people made the slippery slope, ar slope argument, and here we are on the slippery slope. We've slid down the slope part way. <clears throat> now... One, one can always argue with the other, with the one girl, the five-year-old girl, this is just a phase she's going through. Except you can't always argue that now because thanks to the whole transgender movement, if you say, oh, this is probably just a phase they're going through, you're hateful. So now it's not enough, you know, and in years back, past, a, a psychologist would have said, oh, it's just a phase she's going through. They wouldn't necessarily have said indulge her in it. I mean, just uh, treat it as a game, but don't indulge her in it. Let her know from time to time she is human. But nowadays, no, it's a phase they're going... It, it, or you can't say it's a phase they're going through. You have to actually acknowledge it, otherwise you're being hateful. That's, you know, we, we, we've learned that from the whole transsexual movement, is you can't just say it's a phase or you're being hateful. Even though your gender dysphoria, a lot of... Researchers coming out saying some of these people who think they might be a man when they're actually a woman or think they might be a woman when they're actually a man, they will grow up to be gay, but in a few years they will get over this feeling that they are the wrong gender. Um, so actually transgenderism in that sense is a little helpful towards gay people, and gay people are beginning to stand up and say that. But definitely when we're talking animals we've got to sort of draw the line fairly early. And yes, you know, little kids want to run around and pretend to be animals sometimes, but let them know it's just a game. Don't indulge them in it, or they're going to grow up to be really screwed up. Like this 13-year-old girl in Australia. Um, so that's it. And oh yeah, like I said, if you really want to be treated like an animal, don't be surprised if people want to treat you full-fledged and say, okay, you're not allowed in my restaurant, you're not allowed in my store, because otherwise I'm treating you like a human. That's not discrimination. That's uh, the law in some cases. So that is it. I uh, just wanted to talk about um, this weird phenomena, which again, people spoke of as a hypothetical, and now it's actually becoming a real thing. Uh, have a nice day.